Hello everyone, I am the Nook Crusader and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install John Romero's Sigil add-on for Doom. Uh, I think it's the second Doom related video. I love the franchise in its entirety actually. It's a great game. Uh, basically, you can buy a $606 add-on for Sigil called uh, Sigil Plus Buckethead where it has a cool soundtrack by Buckethead. There's a bunch of stuff here, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just talking about the free Sigil Megawad download. First thing you have to do, down, click the download button. So, start any second now. Yep, here it is. Third time I've installed it, by the way. Uh, drag it out, extract it, all that usual stuff. Okay, so you have the Sigil. Now, how do you run it? Well, uh, second things first. <laughs> I don't know. Second thing, second, I guess. <laughs> um, download GZ Doom. All these links will be in the description, by the way, for Sigil, for GZ Doom, for all the stuff. Drag it out. You can change the name if you want. I've already downloaded GZ Doom a couple of times, so I have a seven there. I'll just change it to Sid T tutorial. I'll extract the file. Uh, you can delete the unextracted file now and uh so open up sigil t or whatever yours is called it's just gz doom really open up sigil uh you'd have to buy doom the ultimate doom from steam after that you can run either sigil compat compatibility version or sigil.wad Obviously, do sigil.wad if you have a Windows 10 and it has more than one gigabyte storage. <laughs> I don't know, I think it'll be good. Yeah, if you have a Windows 10, it's going to be compatible. Um, after that, really, there's one more step, and it's just to drag sigil version 1. Point, that name into GZ Doom. And here you are. Now you can mess with the settings a little bit by going to options. There's a whole video on the options and stuff. There will be a link to that in the description. I like to play windowed, so I can fix that real quick. Set video mode. Is that where it is? Yes. No. Okay. So after that, you have this. Um, you can change your cursor if you want. Mine is just the dead daisy rabbit from the default one. Other things I think you should do is changing the texture filtering thing by going to display options, going to texture options, and changing the texture filter mode to none. I think it looks much nicer that way. After you're done with that, you're pretty much done. Another little thing. Well, actually, there's one more thing you should do, which is customizing the controls to be, you know, more modern and for it to work. I like to have my use button to be E. I like I like the W A S and D controls, so I'll fix that. Drum space. Um that's good. Other things you can do is um uh change the HUD. So I'll do that real quick. You can scale it. HUD preserves aspect ratio. Don't do it that change that to four. And that's what I like. Alternative HUD you don't have to look at. Um other optional options, all these are optionals. You can enable mouse, turn this off, it's unnecessary. You can do always mouse look if you want, you can have a crosshair also if you want. Um, after that, you're good. Create a new save, select sigil if you don't want to play these, why don't you install sigil if we're not going to play it, so yeah. Select sigil, you know, do your uh, option of, do your difficulty of choice, don't. Uh, bully me in the comments. You're gonna bully me in the comments. The skill that I like to use is I'm too young to die because I don't know. A lot of the times when I play Doom, I don't want to have like a challenge that feels like it's consuming me, like ultra violence or nightmare. Hurt me plenty is more casual. Uh, I just haven't tried it yet. Uh, so here you are, and enjoy the hellish magic as much as you want. Really, you don't have any limit. It's just, it's Doom, but way cooler. Because <laughs> it's Don Romero's extra level to the game. 
you know, it kind of got released like, um, you know, uh, the Ultimate Doom, which is what most people use, obviously. So, yeah, really after that, after you're good with that, you're good to go. You can just keep playing to your heart's content. Uh, rip and tear, folks, that's really all I have to say. And, yeah. It's really cool, and I'll do my final goodbyes now, because it's better if you play it yourself instead of me explaining it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial video. I hope it's been really, well, informative and stuff for you to install and download play Sigil. Uh, I think I did a decent job. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Or, you know, I'm not telling you to do anything. You can watch some more other videos to finalize first. Uh, I think this was okay, though, and I feel like you know, really it's the best. It's a lot of my videos are similar to this right now, currently. And of course, folks, remember to rip and tear.